in this video we are going to analyze performance of various stock indices such as nifty nifty mid 50 nifty gr and other indices we are going to grab market cap pe cagr 1 year cagr 5 year cagr 10 year price to book value and dividend yield from screeners website where url is screener.in slash company slash nifty so this page displays information about nifty 50 in the same way we can also get information about nifty mid 50 so we can search that here nifty suppose nifty mid cap 50 you'll get nifty mid 50 same way we can also find out stock information about other for example nifty mid cap 50 nifty 500 so whatever indices are available what is the performance of those indices that we want to capture in this google sheet so let's get started so first i'm going to explain that how we can create this formula which is using import xml we specify url and xpath query so once you frame formula for one index you can easily copy paste that formula for other indexes so let's understand that what exactly we have done so we open this nifty 50 page on screeners website so we have say nifty nifty 50 we open it you can see here price to earning ratio is 20.8 so that we are grabbing here market cap is this amount so that we are grabbing here in the same way we are grabbing CAGR 1 year, 5 year, 10 year, then price to book value. For example, price to book value is 3.39. So that we are grabbing here. And dividend yield, which is 1.35, that we are grabbing here. So let's understand that how to do this. So we open this index page. Then we perform, say, right click. Then we say inspect. And on the right hand side, you will see the code which is displaying this information. So let's understand it for one or two parameters then we can easily perform those steps for other parameters so as an example for example i want to grab say this market cap so i perform right click then i say inspect so right hand side you'll see that that selection is changing and when i hover it you can also see here that it is displaying here market cap so now we just keep mouse over here pan tag and then we perform right click then we select copy and we say copy full x path so we just copy it now that x path expression we have to write in this place x path query so that is what we have done here you can see here formula is import xml where the first part is the url which is this url where whenever we change the index this part will change so for nifty 50 it is nifty for nifty mid 50 that is mid cap 50 it is nifty mid 50 so we are framing that dynamic url by string concatenation using this ampersand but the important thing is that here the second parameter you can see here we have to write this we have to write this x path query so that we are writing in the second parameter you can see here we write x path query so that is required so we we pass that information once you click enter key it is going to display that information now here we have just done the conditional checking that if anything is present here then only that formula should be fire otherwise it should display null value so in this way we are framing formula for market cap in the same way we can frame formula for this price to earning ratio so you just perform right click okay so you keep your eyes here you'll see that here it will change so i'm right clicking on this price to earning ratio i say inspect you can see here that information is displayed here now i perform right click copy copy full x path and then i just copy copy this formula paste it here and just i replace this x path query the second parameter and we'll see that it will change same way you can grab x path query formula for all these parameters by performing say right click inspect then copy copy full x path and then paste it into that formula in this 
particular cell. So same way we do it for all these parameters. Within few seconds, we can grab records or the information for all other indices. So now I'm going to explain you that what happens when I copy paste this formula for other indices. So I just say control C and I paste it here. You'll see that it is grabbing information for that uh, second index that is Nifty Midcap 50. Same way I just copy and paste it for all other indices. And you'll see that shortly it's going to grab information about all these indices. So you can see here that the Nifty 50 price to earning is 20.8. So we can consider it as stock are available at cheap prices. Okay, let's compare this uh, Nifty 20. Point, uh, Nifty P which is at present 20.8 with the historical data. So we just click here. We go to the screeners website and click on this PE ratio. And you can find that it was trading at 24.4 on 26th of September. And at present, it is around this value that is 20.8. So basically, stocks are available at cheap prices. We can compare with the three year. You can see here it is towards at the bottom. If you compare with the five years performance, you can see that since last three to four years it is within this range that is from 19 to say 26 here it was at very high value so basically using this google sheet and xpath query it is possible to grab indices data into google sheet so you can do analysis based on this let me know that whether you are able to perform the same thing in your Google Sheet. Write in the comment section how this video was useful to you. Thanks for watching and happy learning. We'll see you in some other video.